It's my pleasure to introduce someone I consider a good friend, our governor, Governor Phil Murphy. Governor Phil Murphy did a classic Hudson County election eve drive-by endorsement slash not endorsement in Bayonne with Mayor Jimmy Davis on Friday. Today's about good government and good government cooperation in particular between the state and community. Uh, no politics today. Although these photos are very likely destined to become part of an election day brochure in the Peninsula City. Davis has the establishment support. The governor doesn't show up to your Friday afternoon event without it. Jason O'Donnell, his opponent, does not. Add to that, that as election day nears, the city is actually enjoying something of a renaissance. Broadway is seeing new life, from the medical center to new condo buildings and restaurants. The mayor says that's progress, but his opponent says the incumbent is selling the city out. For the first time in 25 years, um, the city's moving forward. You, you talk to real estate developers, you know, and they'll tell you flat out right off the bat that, you know, property values are up 30, 35 percent in Bayonne. Um, they're having trouble keeping houses on the market. I mean, you can't say the real estate market is that hot, then why give it away? And they've given away these long-term tax abatements. Uh, for development, and we could have negotiated a lot better. We could have gotten more. There hasn't been any formal polling here, but the prevailing wisdom is that it's hard to beat the incumbent with all the establishment support. In Patterson, where the last three mayors have either gone to jail or been formally censured by the city council, there are more candidates, six, than there is enthusiasm for the electoral process. The specter of former Mayor Joey Torres haunts the politics of this city, Pedro Rodriguez was his deputy mayor. When I saw what Joey was doing that was unethical, I wrote my resignation letter and I handed it to him. I don't get not even close to corrupt politicians, and I've proven that throughout my life here in the city of Patterson. There is no incumbent here, but the establishment support has gone to unsuccessful three-time candidate Andre Sea. I believe my relationship with Governor Murphy, my relationship with our deputy, our lieutenant governor, Sheila Oliver, will help Patterson get a seat at the table in Trenton, because if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. Meanwhile, in the state's largest city, and in case you haven't heard, one of the finalists to get Amazon's HQ2, things are looking up, literally, with new buildings downtown and all across the city. The incumbent, Ras Baraka, once a flamethrower from the outside, has settled into the role of big city mayor. When he ran, Everybody was trying to pin him, as his opponents were trying to pin him as a radical. I'm surprised because I guess in a way I bought into that. I was listening to, to the opposition, but we shouldn't be. Baraka has been welcoming corporations, former rivals like Cory Booker and County Executive Joe DiVincenzo, even Chris Christie. His opponent, Gail Cheneyfield Jenkins, says residents have noticed. At a recent debate, the candidates, running mates just four years ago, showed equal parts disdain and disagreement. While we're working to develop a plan and strategize around these things, there are folks uh, that are creating cynicism, and I think the, the only real problem that they have with it is they have, they're not in front of it. If they were in front of it, if they were leading it, they would be cheerleading it, right? The many faces of Raz, when he talks about people now, if they don't uh, appreciate him or they're not supporting him, oh, you're just whining, you're just cynical. That's not what it is. We're realists. Come tomorrow night, Baraka is likely to be at a victory party. And then all the winners will have to turn their attention to Trenton, where a new governor will be looking for allies. And the mayors will be looking for, if you'll pardon the Bookerism, some gov love. In Newark, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.